The inject function isn't just the cool new way to do dependency injection in Angular. It does also provide very real benefits over constructor-based dependency injection. And we are going to take a look at one of those benefits now. If you're interested in the specifics of what is going on here, I'll link to my recent video on analog. But the key point for this video is just that I have some complex logic in the component that I want to live somewhere else. Partly just for organization sake, but also so that the same code can be shared among multiple projects in my mono repo. What this code does essentially is load the markdown file for the specific lesson that is being viewed based on the URL. This logic can be abstracted away quite nicely into an inject lesson function. The inject naming here isn't actually important. This is just a function and it could be called anything. If we take a look at the implementation of this function, we can see that since we are utilizing the inject function for dependency injection, rather than constructor-based dependency injection, we can access everything we need directly within this function. We need to access the snapshot from the activated route, and we can do that by using the inject function. We can utilize the dependency injection system here, even though we are just creating a simple utility function. So there was a bit of backlash in one of my recent videos where I showed an approach that uses functions to create services in Angular instead of classes. We might circle back again later in another video to dive into that a bit more, but part of the general sentiment was that we already have an established class-based way to achieve the same thing, and that there is no need to change things just for the sake of it. So I want to address that same sentiment up front for this approach. Why use a function-based approach for this when we already have established patterns with class-based services that could do the same thing? Just because it's possible to use this new inject toy inside of functions, it doesn't mean we should. To give some context, let's take a look at what the more commonly used class-based approach might look like. First, we can refactor the utility itself into a class that uses the injectable decorator. I'm still using the inject function here as well, but since we're using a class now, we could also use constructor-based dependency injection. It's not much worse, but I think it's fair to say that having to use a decorator and referencing this multiple times certainly doesn't make the class approach any easier. But then to use this service, rather than just being able to access it directly like with the function-based approach, we would have to first provide it to our component and then access it by injecting it like this. Still, it's not that much more difficult and certainly arguments can be made for it. One big one being if your team has existing conventions it is enforcing. You probably aren't going to buck the trend or force a refactor of the code base for something that is marginally easier or better. But in my view, the function-based approach for this scenario is just objectively simpler. If the choice is up to me and there isn't a compelling reason to do otherwise, I'm not going to reach for a class-based approach just because of some notion that Angular is and should be OOP-based. That doesn't mean I necessarily want to get rid of all class usage in Angular. An important thing to note here is that this simple function-based approach works because it is tied to the injection context of whatever calls the function. It works like a service that is provided directly to the component. If you actually wanted something that was provided in root and shared with the rest of the application, then you would still need to use a service. My general view is that we can change and improve patterns in Angular over time. I think it's important that we experiment with that, and sometimes those patterns might use functions instead of classes. Classes aren't what make Angular Angular, and incorporating function-based approaches doesn't mean Angular is becoming React. Anyway, this video got a little more opinionated than what was originally intended. I just think this inject lesson utility function is cool and I wanted to share it. But I hope you got something out of it, and if you'd like to see more Angular videos like this, please consider a like or subscribe before you go.